what's up you guys and welcome back to my channel so i just want to say before i get started y'all came through for me on my dtv video and i am so appreciative i am on this youtube journey and it's really exciting but it's hard work and i appreciate all of the interaction with you guys like that is so fun to me i love it and i'm just grateful and i just want to say thank you like it just makes me happy and i'm and i'm and i'm thankful so yeah with that being said on to the next video today by the way my name is ashley this is austin's lab all things t-shirts and vinyl so today something i've been holding on to for quite some time I actually kind of forgot that I bought it, to be honest. Um, yeah, it was one of those impulse buys. I was watching a video and I saw someone using it and I was like, hmm, I'm just going to go buy it. And then I just never used it. So this is my friend's CAD Cut Soft Foam HTV for sublimation. Well, actually, you can sublimate on it. It's not just for sublimation. It's just like a, to me, it's more like a, um, what is that called? Flock. It kind of, it's raised like um, flock and brick, but it's soft like foam, basically. So, and you can sublimate on it. So, that's what we're going to be working with today. And it came in like this gigantic, uh, roll and these sheets I think it's this is the size of each sheet so that's pretty big like this is the size of one sheet so I'm gonna definitely have to cut this down um, quite a bit to use it but um, actually I'm kind of I'm kind of excited about using it so yeah that's what we're gonna be working on today and I already have my design put together. I put it together last night so that I will be prepared for today. Um, I'm pretty excited about uh, putting it together because it's my girl. It's, it's my girl, Beyonce. I love her. That's my cousin. For real. That's my cousin. <laughs> but no, I'm just kidding. But yeah, so using Cat Cut Soft Foam. HTV. Um, so for the heat settings, it's 300 degrees time, 15 seconds. The pressure is um, light to medium and it is a uh, cold peel. So with that being said, let's jump right into it. And I'm going to be using my, I'm actually going to be mixing a couple medias today. I think I'm going to medium some um, medias. Yeah. I think I'm going to do um, HTV, the soft foam, and maybe some DTV all on this one t-shirt design. So we're going to see how that works out. Um, I had it, I, I have it together in my brain. We just got to put it together. So stick with me and we'll get started. Now this right here is DTV. Look how beautiful that is. Look how beautiful that is. I have my other artwork 
that you just saw get printed out. And I'm just gonna weed that out. And this is the DTV. This is Caesar's DTV. So that, and that weed's just great. Look at that. No problem. That's the one good thing about, um, the one good thing about this is when you have a whole, um, uh, one whole piece that you're cutting out and not intricate pieces, this works magnificent. As you can see, it looks great. I don't have any issues with anything. Um, I weeded it just fine. And once I place it on the shirt, I'm just gonna peel it off of here and place it where I want it on the t-shirt um, without having to use the mask that comes with it or any other mask. So yeah. All right, so we have, this is one part of our um, design. This is another part of our design. And if you know anything about Beyonce, you know where I am headed with this. You may or you may not, but yeah. So we will see how this goes. So the next part of this is um, the vinyl cutting. So I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, I should have showed you guys on the computer like I normally do, but for the sake of timing, I want to kind of skip past some of that stuff and then I'll just come back once I get this cut and uh, weed it out, okay? So I'll be right back. Okay, y'all, so while the vinyl is cutting, it's gonna take a few minutes because um, it's small letters. So while that is cutting, I'm gonna go ahead and test out this cat cut and see, <laughs> and see how it works. So we're gonna be doing this together, y'all, because I've never used it before. And yeah. We just gonna figure it out together. All right, so what I'm gonna do first, um, before I put those on, I'm gonna remove um, these guys from their carrier sheet. Because again, like I said, we're going to be sublimating onto this. So we need to take... Mommy, I have to do that with you. So I'm gonna remove it from its carrier sheet because we're gonna be sublimating onto the front side of this, not the back side. And I'm also gonna put down some parchment paper uh, to keep the, uh, the backing from adhering. So I'm gonna do two since it's enough space for two. Actually, I can do all three. Um, let's go ahead and just take these off. That. Take them off from the backing. Just like that. And then I'm going to take my sublimation sheets and place them face down onto each one. Place them face down onto each of those. I think I have enough room to put all three. because it smells a little burnt. Let's, let's take a look. Wait in the bejesus. Wait a minute. Okay. Ooh, I'm not sure, y'all. I'm a little nervous. I ain't gonna lie. Okay, 
So it is a cold thing, so maybe I should, but I'm not even, ooh. Okay. It's a little hot. your paper. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and remove our sublimation. Ooh, I don't know if I like that, y'all. It's not giving me the pop. Giving me the pop I like. So I think before I even do the other one, okay, so here it is sublimated onto the cat cut sheet, the soft foam. about this so here it is but that's not giving that's not giving I like now I do like how it looks a little bit vintage I do like that but it's not popping it is not popping and I don't like that so and then it, it comes through the back this is the adhesive side right here. Um, yeah, I don't like that. I'm not feeling that at all. And I think I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. I'm not using it, y'all. I don't like it. No, that's not my the my design is is too dope. I can't use this. No, 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 no. So here's the thing. I think this would be good for um. Just norm, like regular cuts, like not sublimation, but like, you know, a cut design and you want a different material. I think this would be good for that, but I don't like that. I don't like how it sublimates. It doesn't look good. It doesn't look good to me. So, um yeah i don't like that so what i'm about to do is use our dtv i could use um sublimation but not sublimation but um easy subly which i think would turn out really nicely but no i think i don't want to use sublimation at all um, so I think I'm just going to use the DTV and then go from there. Cause I don't like that. I don't, it's not giving. I, uh, let's see. So now that we learned that that doesn't work, um, uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and take our temperature down. Cause we're not going to be using sublimation. So I'm going to go ahead and take this temperature down to... Um, I'm going to do 315, although DTV is, uh, like 310, 312, I'm going to do 315 because I'm going to, I'm also using, um, regular HTV and glitter HTV. So I don't want to have to change it. So I think that's a good medium to put it at. Come on. Okay. 
So I'm gonna keep it at 315 and the, the uh, time at th uh, 15 seconds. So while that goes down, we're gonna go over here and check on our HTV and it, the first one is done. Let me take a look at it. Everything seems to be cut out really nice. You can't see it. So I'm gonna sit you guys here and then come back. Okay guys, finally I have gotten everything cut and ready to go. So I'm gonna show you before we go over to the press. Okay, so we're gonna be working with this sand color t-shirt right here. It's a size large. I want it to fit um, just a little bit baggy, not, not too form fitting. So I'm gonna use a size large. Um, and this is just a Gildan soft style, a Gildan soft style, large. Um, and I think the color is like sand. It might be sand or I think it's sand. I totally, I totally picked your fire truck. Okay, go ahead. Okay. So now we're over at the heat press. This is our shirt. And I have everything laid out um, like I normally do. I'm going to see if I can put this back so you can see. Okay, I think that works. Okay, so what I normally do, fold this in half so I can get my, my mark for the middle of the t-shirt. Light press. Take some more pressure off of that. All right. And let's start with the layout here with all these pieces. <laughs>
So this is where we're at. I know it's a lot, y'all. I know. But this is what I had in my head, so I had to do it. So this is where we're at. We have the signature on there now. We have the songs at the bottom, her message um, at the bottom, her name here, lyrics to one of the songs, uh, to, um, What's that song? Break my soul. But yeah, so this is where we at. I'm I like it. I like that a lot. That's nice. So what I wanted to do was put this picture over here on this um sleeve. But I think I may just let it be. I think I'm gonna let it be and use this for something else because this is so pretty. Look at that. I may use that for something else. But it's cool. It's cool. It's taking a little bit too far okay simply because I love her I love her anyway I'm gonna show you what the finished product is what it looks like and ouch so this is it this is the her uh what you call it her post on Instagram here at the bottom are all of the songs. I added a little butterfly right there. All of the songs, all the way across the bottom of the shirt, like that. And um, here is her signature right here. And of course, uh, right here in the middle. I'm a little busty, so just kind of, there we go. So that is the picture in the middle. And then her picture that I wanted to add is right there. And that layered seamlessly. And act one, Renaissance. And then on this side where I wanted to add some roses, I added the roses and the butterflies. And then her name here. And then that's the the lyrics from um, Break My Soul. Some of the lyrics from Break My Soul right there. So yeah, this is how it turned out. I think it looks pretty good. You know, I went over the top a little bit, but she's over the top, you know, and I didn't want to look like a basic tee. I wanted to add, you know, a little um to it. So this is what I came up with. what I came up with. Let me back up so you guys can see. See that? That looks good. Yeah. Originally, we started off trying to use CAD Cut uh, Soft Foam HTB and we were going to sublimate what well, I was going to sublimate on top of that for these three photos I was going to sublimate on top for that just to have it raised um, off of the shirt just a little bit I was going to have it raised off of the shirt just a little bit but um, as you guys saw it didn't do what it was supposed to do so um, I scratched that and then um, went ahead and just used DTV yeah so as far as the the overall T-shirt, I, I like it. I like it. Yeah. 
So if you guys have any questions um, regarding any of the stuff that I used, mm, regarding any of the stuff that I use today, um, of course, you know, I am open to any questions. I, an I try to answer every single comment, um, respond to every single comment. Um, so just leave it down below. And again, if you're new here, If you're new here, welcome. Please like and subscribe. And if you're returning, thank you. Um, I'm glad you guys, I'm hoping you guys enjoyed this video. Um, <laughs> it did not go as I thought it would in my head. So, you know, I made it work. We made it do what it do. But um, yeah, so. I guess I will see you guys next video. Peace out.